How's it going, fellas? I'm Orosh, and this is another episode of The Outer Worlds, and in today's episode, we're going to attempt to redeem myself in the Byzantium, because if you have not seen the last episode, in holy shit, last that, episode I, like, murdered the whole city. Have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I was hoping I do. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. Yeah, I look like a deranged psychopath. have been exceptionally thorough. I'm just getting started. I'm glad to hear that. I'm gonna murder the whole this fucking may come universe. As a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. Me murdering people? I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. See, I'm the what they call Edgewater, and in your wake, a slave. I do everything. I fucking have to take care of everything because everyone's I'm incompetent, sure and I'm also the protagonist of the game. And if All I didn't got to do everything, then what the fuck would I do? Stranger fell out of the sky. Uh, fuck. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted. I mean, you're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Look, I'm not betraying Phineas. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. This bitch is just done, stupid enough to believe to that a office. guy who just murdered like all the guards in her town is now willing to negotiate with her. Nah. So what I'm gonna do, this is what I heard at the, when I looked up how to, how to get the board reputation back to normal. You have to go to Phineas. And instead of betraying him, we will tell Enjoy him about that offer. And we will only pretend that we betrayed him. But he will still be cool. We'll still be helping him. It's just that, uh, you know, no one expected me to help this way. Because I guess we're gonna do some weird shit. By the way, I'm, I have some fucking cool news. Well, I don't know if I talked about it. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 is getting a remake and it's supposed to come out September 2020. I never played the original Tony Hawk's games when I had a PS1. I only had like two games when I had a PS1. Even when I had a PS2, I never I never happened to play Tony Hawk games. I was always more into platformer games and I never really played any sports games. Unfortunately, and... One of the games... Another one, I, well, I... I'm probably gonna be looking into that. I, I mean, I always wanted to. I think I was talking about that last episode and I didn't fucking finish talking about it. How when I was like first attempting to do a let's play, one of the first games I wanted to do was, was Tony Hawk or fucking whatever it was. I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. Look, I I've been paid to betray you. What about the? I've been doing all this. I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Yeah, they they want to freeze everyone. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse, and the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? Pretty much. I always knew Halcyon was. You think Earth and this universe is some kind of like a super powerhouse? Where it's like the most wealthy planet just because it's the first one. I mean, I imagine it doesn't have to necessarily be that way. It could be like overcrowded, it could be like really dangerous to live on Earth. I mean, there could be some planet that bring in more profit. I found your hammocles. I let the death. When I first played, I decided I didn't, I didn't took all the chemicals. I took I took only like twenty percent, and he was mad that I didn't took more. And I think I got a pretty shitty ending in the end because of that. Like we only managed to refreeze some of the people. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage. Well, no yeah, like in Space Odyssey, where they froze the scientists and then Hal 9000 fucking killed them just because the they watched this movie yesterday. Focus, bro. Do you realize what this means for the hope? 
for your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Well, I can do that. Do you know what's well, actually I can't because I can't really meet them. Also, I'm not sure does this game have something like you know, Skyrim or the or essential NPCs you can't kill. Which always pissed me off in Skyrim. Like when I'm done with a quest for some asshole, couldn't I just fucking murder him for being a dick? Also, why can't you kill children in Skyrim? That's just bullshit. Okay. I am, right? We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes, yes, exactly. Well, can I tell you about this I plug I was gonna use? If we link up the hope to the unreliable, I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. I don't give a shit. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to... Okay, I'll do it, but... Why I'm doing all this. I need to fucking why tell you about the, the plug I got. The answer to the colony's problems. I complete the quest. some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. All right, whatever you say. Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe. Oh, there you go. The adjutant. That's. We can save Halcyon from the Let's have food else. Ask me to plant a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. We got a plan or something? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. Don't use the code. She'll suspect you betrayed her. Oh yeah. You should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. So that should buy me some time. Okay. I'll do it. Don't get used Good to idea. This, but maybe I was wrong about Harlow. Harlow. But you never fucking met Harlow. Okay, how do I plug this thing in? Robots. Uh, send corrupted tracking signal. There we go. I did it. What if I just in front of him like send an actual code? Okay, look, we can invest at least twenty points into some other skills. Persuasion. Pfft. Lie. Who the fuck cares? Hack, lockpick. Hostile effects duration on targets. Uh, corrosion damage, not really. Companion skill bonus, blah blah blah. Jesus Christ, I don't know. Maybe. No, look, this is raised to 98. I don't even need that shit. Oh, because I have bonuses from having Ali as a companion. And Nyoka. And I think my armor also is granting me a bonus. Fuck. Maybe I'll go with Sneak. Even though it's uh, 75, holy shit. Eh, whatever. I'll raise it even higher then. Okay, so what we're gonna do now... Uh, journal. I gotta tell the bitch that I betrayed Phineas. Yeah, I did it, of course. I'm, I'm a good person. I mean, I'm a bad person. I'm a good person for the bad guys. Another gaming piece of news that I heard yesterday so Mafia Twitter, like official account, Twitter account of Mafia, was tweeting like for the past three days was tweeting some weird shit. They were tweeting like family, power, 
uh, respect or something like that. And and they released a teaser trailer for Mafia Trilogy, which, as you may guess, is all three Mafia games combined. I thought, okay, cool, a little remaster, maybe a bundle of all three Mafia games. That's cool. I I'd be fucking interested to replay I first Mafia. I still have it. Members. I still have the there first Mafia. Bought when it came out. On my shelf, but Mafia One is such an old game. It doesn't even run on modern Captain, computers anymore. I you have a message from adjutant Sophia. I am I'm not. I'm pretty Captain. cool, right? I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. <clears throat> yes. Unfortunately, Doctor Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before yes, he did. his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Okay. Come meet me in Byzantium. All right, I will. Oh, I have to travel to Byzantium. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever. Shut up, she might hear this. Oh, you're the dumbest fucking thing I ever fucking met. Oh, what's this? Just, oh man, I got a new location. That's interesting. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Alright, I think now everyone should be chill with me. You know what I can do? I can walk up to all the corpses I left behind last episode because I'm a murder machine. And I can just take their shit and sell it. Hmm, that's cool. It's a great idea. Another thing... Yeah, so... I thought there were gonna be like a bundle, maybe a remaster, you know, like of the first game with the enhanced graphics. But then... I was a little bit suspicious, like, okay, in the teaser trailer, when they show Tommy and Jello, he, he looks like standing next to a car in the rain. It doesn't look like the original Mafia. It looks like way nicer. It looks like a rema remake. But then Mafia 2 and 3, they look like they did before, because those are still great looking games. No, oh, man, Mafia 3. I'm gonna tell you what I think about Mafia 3 later, but apparently the first Mafia is getting a remake while Mafia 2 and 3 are gonna be remasters, which is the first time ever I heard something like that where there's a bundle of games and only one of them is like a remake but the rest of them is a remaster. Imagine if like Crash and Saint Trilogy came out and only the first game was remade and 2 and 3 were the same but just kind of better looking that, that would be pretty weird, right? And that's what they're doing with Mafia. But I understand because Mafia 2 and 3 don't really need a fucking remake. I mean, Mafia 3 came out like only three years ago. It doesn't need a remake already. Just. That's the same thing I thought about. People are still mad about me. What the fuck? Oh no, just civilians are like scared of me. Okay. Oh fuck, I can't blame them to be scared of me. What's this? Tough ball. Hell yeah, I'm gonna play some Tuspel. And... Yeah, I guess. I guess they are also gonna include all the DLCs. Mafia 2 had a DLC. A uh, story where you play as Joe. And honestly, I, don't, I never played that one. I don't know what the fuck it does. Why does it show that Ellie has something so really to tell me? Do this? She really does. I've seen lots of crazy, Captain. But Phineas is in a class of his own. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? Eh, I don't know. There's a sobering thought. Makes me want to drink. Here, here. I think this whole plan's insane. But it'll make a good story. You know, if we survive. We'll Speaking survive. Of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony. But what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? I'm just my kind of crazy. I'm gonna try to forget that you've been calling the shots this whole time. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they gonna pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just gonna leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? I don't know. Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. You know, it's kinda like I need the purpose in life, otherwise I'm just gonna be fucking sad. Captain, I can't stop thinking about that business with Harlow. I guess Felix could have told her? I'm sure her. he had an angle. He did, but I just didn't give a shit. Sure, I'll believe an honest thief any day. 
People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature. Amen to death. See, this is what I like about you. You may not be from here, but you fit right in. You're not working for the board out of some foolish sense of idealism. No, but that's the point. That's not the point. You're right. The point is that self-interest is like self-pleasure. No one wants to admit it, but everyone has a hand in it. I've Enough been talking about, Carlo, about porn I watched. Well, it was the, I don't know, what about the recent porn I watched? I watched some fucking video of some bitches in a classroom and then they suck a guy's dick. <laughs> that, that was it. I know the plot is thrilling and all, but um, yeah. Okay, there's so many dead guards. Who killed those people? Poor innocent people just laying on the streets all dead and shit. There's so much garbage on the ground too. Look, I hope the guards are at least chill with me now. I don't care that I'm really slow right now. I'm gonna make it to a vendor and I'm gonna sell all this shit and become rich. And they must be so scared of me. Like, probably the guards are just dead, laying on the streets. I think even since Skyrim, they like took away the bodies if you ever went to a massacre in a city. They eventually just like cleaned up the bodies, you know? Well, this game does not do that. Yeah, so Mafia 1, apparently getting a remake. I've seen some screenshots people posted of Mafia 1, how it actually is gonna look. And I'm still not sure if it's a remake or not. By the time this video comes out, they were supposed to say more about it on May 19th. So by the time this video comes out, you probably all already know whether or not this is a... What? What you fucking looking at? Your friends? All of them are dead. And I wonder who fucking killed them. Everything for free. Or I'll murder you all. To defend our fair city. What can I help yes, you I... Oh my god, these fucking people. I don't wanna kill them just because so... They're so dumb. Stop fucking changing my crosshair. Look, now I can't. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll do it like this. So many guns. I haven't installed anything that I wanted to keep. Um. 29. 4, 53. I wanna be careful about what I'm selling. 53 is a pretty cool fucking armor set, shit. Twenty-three thousand bits. That's a lot of bits, okay. It's nice to be back in the city, even though we've been here last episode. Except last episode, everybody wanted me fucking dead. I still do want everyone dead. Anyway, let's see if this works. Hello? Okay. Doesn't work. This is so dumb. What am I supposed to do about this? this have, there has to be a place where I can enter. And they will like let me know that, oh look. My dear fellow, you know Maybe I can go in here? Exploration, yeah, it seems like... Yeah, that's it. I think I have to go in here. There's one more quest in the game that I haven't done. And I mean, I haven't finished the, the clothing quest, but that's not what I want to. Do I have like a button where I can just simply like... Wait? I think I do. Welcome to the Bureau of Exploration. We're not currently offering any tours. Can I get in though? Can I talk to this? Fucker. Well, you're obviously not from around here. I don't believe I've ever seen visitors in the Bureau before, come to think of it. This place is not well advertised. I, in my previous playthrough, I never even knew there's something like this in the city. You don't know that. Maybe I work here. You don't look nearly bored enough to work here. Believe me, I know everyone here by face. Alonzo Vallejos. Extraordinarily pleased to make your acquaintance and so on and so forth. I'm currently operating a sightseeing tour of sorts. Think of it as a guided journey across Halcyon, 
Would you be interested in a trial run? Yes. Glad you asked. Our tour got... Okay, we shut up. I know how it works. That slogan's a word. Outstanding! Here, you'll need this special triangulating device. Think of it as a wireless compass pointing the way to the next beacon. When you find a beacon, this device records your discovery and directs you to the next stop on your tour. Find every beacon, finish your tour... Alright, I'm off. We got a quest. That little thing that I found, that was the first beacon. I thought that would, that would activate the quest. Apparently it's not. Mm, but I don't really give a shit. Should I go... You think I should go to the the bad guy? I don't think I should. I feel like there's last fucking bit of choice I can make. Do I help the bad guy? Or do I help Phineas? I wanna help Phineas. Like it's kinda like I'm an anti-hero, like I did so much wrong shit, I murdered people, I cheated people, I stole. But in at the end of the, the day I'm still like working for the right cause. I wanna fucking save the universe even though I don't wanna save it just because I... I believe in the cause. I wanna save it just because fame and whatever. I feel like that's Jimmy Bob's character, you know? He's not a fucking hero. Kinda like a GZB point was just to like defeat monsters and become famous and get lots of bitches. That was his point. Now I don't like making good characters. Only other OC I ever made was Frank. Remember Frank? You don't? I think I stole all the shit you had. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. <laughs> She's like, no, sorry, don't kill me. What can I do for you, darling? I got all the shit you needed. I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit. Chimera, crafted from the hides of three species of monster. I don't care. While you were gone. I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels. Solid gold. Diamond encrusted. If it doesn't have one of my lapels, it's not a Jolicar original. What the fuck is a lapel? Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Yeah, you're being a fucking annoying bitch. Understatement of the year, darling. Believe me, I'm every bit as frustrated as you are. Wonderful! I'm giving you authorization to retreat. I have a chance to buy glasses. Oh wait, fuck, shouldn't say that. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go and sign some okay, shit for her. Well, why are you pissing on the grass, robot? That's so wrong of you. What a fucking... Best find this week. Go. Someone I wish they were like fucking terrified of me, I swear to god, that would be so cool. They should be. I remember in Fallout New Vegas you could have something like that. Where at the end of uh, Lonesome Road I bombed like every faction in the game. I didn't manage to, I kinda did by accident. But I bombed all of them and I end up having a status of a ruthless thug with everyone in fucking New Vegas. And they were all scared of me. I Very think I went the wrong way. Well, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. I need this shit Welcome signed. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel. If you would like to sign for a parcel, please go to Window B. Alright, fuck you. Window B. Wrong button. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service, where all parcels are guaranteed to be delivered within acceptable margins of certainty. Yeah, so about Mafia 3. <sighs> Let me I just hated it when it came you. out. It was boring, it ugly. For Ms. It played like a fucking Celeste GTA ripoff, and I think that's delivery. what they were going for. It was. And now it's being delivered. Let me see here. Thank you for allowing HP. So she sent me on a fucking quest to sign a package for her while well, she already had the package sent to her house. What a dumb idiot. And. Look, if it's a remaster, if they do something about how boring the the parts, maybe they will just delete it or like change it up. Cause there's you do main quest, main quest missions in Mafia Free are pretty cool. But then everything in between, where you have to take over places and you have to like build up your reputation and do all sorts of dumb shit. 
just to be able to do the next main quest. That's awful. I hate those. But Mafia 3 had some expansions, like there was like a Hot Rods expansion, some other shit, so I imagine the trilogy is gonna include that. And since they're apparently gonna fix some stuff with Mafia 1 that was annoying when it first came out, I hope they won't fix too much shit with Mafia 2. Uh, but yeah, I I hope maybe they'll fix Mafia 3 and maybe I'll give it a shot again and actually hey, maybe um, like it. Sorry about the folks, Ellie. I'm just sorry I forgot to search the liquor cabinet before we left. I wanted to come and kill I, them last no, episode, but then I thought maybe Ellie would get upset. I lost someone once. After I buried him, I raided his Rizzo stash for a bit of comfort. And I ain't stopped drinking since. Hey, that's why you're an alcoholic. That's a bad thing. What's this? What the fuck? A note? Oh yeah, more dead guards. I gotta pick up this shit. They got a lot of cool stuff in here. They're all dead. No one's gonna mind. I kill my I've killed some citizens too by accident, but uh Who cares? Yeah, Mafia 2, when I first played Mafia 2, I was actually upset a little bit. I thought, like, it was an open world. I tried to, like, go somewhere and, like, explore a little bit between levels, and I was like, what the fuck, the game, just, like, never stops giving you mission, you're always on a mission. There's not a single moment, like, in GTA, when you do a mission, you pass the mission, and then to activate the next one, you have to go and activate it. No, in Mafia, it's, like, constantly a mission. It's kind of like Yakuza. Yakuza has, isn't like GT. Yeah, actually, I think I've been comparing Yakuza. I've been saying that if you're gonna compare Yakuza to GTA, then don't do it. In my opinion, Yakuza is more comparable with Mafia 2. Mafia 2 is like a Yakuza set in fucking Chicago, except. Alright, we gotta go back to this stupid bitch. Because apparently the package was sent to her and she was sending me on some strange fucking hunt for nothing. I thought this motherfucker was he posing for a second. Ox something? What is that? That's not a weapon. Look kinda like a weapon. I thought maybe it was. What do you think you're doing? Whatever the fuck I want. Dumb bitch. What do I think I'm doing? I hate that these fucking people should be terrified of me. I murdered everyone almost. I could have. Maybe I should have since. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe I actually should have fucking killed everyone. Because look, I resetted my reputation with the board by pretending to betray Phineas. So I'm surprised they didn't fucking caught that I was the one who fucking corrupted Halcyon the Halcyon Parcel Service is proud to be the colony's only. Alright, you sound fucking I excited. I must respectfully ask that you calm down, please. Parcels must be picked up at the... Fine. How may I be of assistance? I'm here to of pick course. up a fucking if package. Of course, if verify for me that you are Jolly Core, comma, Celeste, or an officially authorized proxy. That's not a really good... <laughs> Can you not see what I'm wearing? I'm obviously one of the Celeste models. I look like an iconoclast. Everything seems to Give be me your order. shit. Here you are, one parcel. One I parcel. hope this has been a pleasant. It has not been a pleasant or satisfying trip. Sucks. Yeah, so I'm really excited for Mafia Trilogy. I'm looking forward to May 19 to see what the fuck else they'll say about it. I guess they're just gonna, you know, review. Whether or not one is a remake or just a remaster and it looks that good. Apparently it's coming to consoles. But the thing is... So I'll be able to play it, right? I mean, I would maybe able to play it on PC, but I don't really like playing on PC that much. Unless it's something that just did not, never came out on a console. So, Mafia 1 had this really confusing... Maybe they'll fix it, I don't know. Maybe they'll just remove it. Where, like, it was trying to be really realistic, especially with driving cars, you had to change change gears by yourself. It wasn't like GTA where you fucking hold a button and you just fucking speed away. It was you had to fucking go, change your gears, like turn on lights and shit, turn, turn on the turning lights, and all that. Stop on lights. I mean, Mafia 2 also had stop on lights. 
Oh, it was Mafia 3 that changed it to back where you can drive around. I think that was actually hey, something I liked. Careful. Don't go running around in the middle of a crime scene. I don't think this kind of thing happened here. I can handle myself. You say that, but subversives work in subtle ways. Michelle Kerr's art was found in violation of the board's cultural standards. We found Culture her standards. working on something perverse. She didn't cooperate, so we had to put her down. Never took her for a dissident sympathizer. You killed Celeste? That's insane. No argument there. Feels like the whole colony's going insane. What with dissidents infiltrating the walls of Byzantium. Byzantium co You yeah, fuck you. You killed my future lover, man. He's like, it's still her shit. Incoming, Captain! What the fuck? Oh, because I infiltrated the, the bad place. Man, I don't care about it anymore. This is literally all I wanted to do. Oh man. You guys are so mean. Are we done here? Are we done with this bullshit again? Just fucking go ahead and kill everyone for real. Are you guys killing people that aren't even enemies? Oh, they're fighting with someone. I can see numbers popping up. Ouch. I don't care though. A unique outfit. I'm not gonna sell this one. Right, well, they're going around murdering people. I'm gonna look up if this beacon works. No, no, fuck you. Arachnophobia. I don't have arachnophobia. So, does this work? Oh, yeah, now I can talk to it. Welcome, intrepid adventurer, to Prosperity Plaza, where the shops never close. Now, make your way to. Oh, so, I think I can. Find secret beacons. Of Emerald Vale. Prepare to be dazzled by the Vale's breathtaking lava flows. Rated the third most impressive in Halcyon. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the ship. Some more guards down. I mean, why the fuck did they attack me? I just walked into her office. I said she's my future lover, man. Maybe I fucking wanted to take some memorable shit that I gave her. Like all this leather that I fucking hunted for her. Maybe I wanted it fucking back. Maybe it was expensive and important to me. Mayoko, okay, your outfit is really pissing me off, you know? It looks stupid. Ellie looks cool. Well, oh, fog. Fog of war. Fog of death. Everyone's fucking dead now. It's funny that this place is so big and nobody bothers to shoot me down, even though I'm fucking killing people in this city. We're really close to the end of the game, I think next episode we're gonna just do the main quest. And maybe like two more episodes and we're done. And what's next after this? Let's play? Yakuza 0. Yakuza 0 is next. Yakuza 0 is next. We're gonna beat it. We're gonna beat it. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Come on, everybody, beat it. Show them who's shit. Show them who sucks balls. I think I've been telling you about the, my plan for Yakuza Zero. Yeah, I remember saying that. I'm gonna do a new game plus instead. I have a quiet toss ball. Apparently, it's been some unique item. Okay. I didn't know that. Let's go and do this this quest now. I feel like I haven't We're done that much. But yeah, I did some stuff, but not really much in this fucking episode. I don't like um, like a little bit of things. Not too much. Science weapons have weird and useful effects, but they also have shitty garbage. And honestly, I don't think there's any more anything gaming related that interested me in the past couple of days. Past couple of months, to be honest. 
I think I was telling you about the Cyberpunk 2077 junk adjustion. Everyone's like, oh man, you can turn your dick into a gun. Nah, I think it's just gonna be like in Saints Row, where you can, where you will be able to just simply change the size of your dick. I think that's all this is gonna be, to be honest. Also, Saints Row the Third was supposed to get a remaster, with all of its DLCs, on modern consoles, which is cool. I was plan I was looking forward to this one as well because, for like a long time, I kind of urge to play Saints Row Three, which I do have on my PS3. But I just don't really feel like fucking turning on my PS3. And... And yeah, playing it with all the DLC expansions would be pretty cool. But this is not the kind of game I would like buy immediately. I'd probably add it to like my wish list and just wait for it to be on a discount. Recently I bought Star Wars Bounty Hunter for like 5 bucks. And... And I was actually gonna go today and buy Patapon 2 for 10 bucks. Patapon 2, if you don't remember, I actually did a Patapon Let's Play. It was a long time ago. This gun is so small and pathetic looking. Make him regret it. Make Makes him such it. shitty noises, too. It's like a fucking toy weapon. Oh, he blew up. Man, I don't even need to fight them. I can just let my fucking companions do the work and I can just walk through them. Alright, this is a quest I never did, so I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I guess I'm just supposed to find another one of those small, tiny beacons. Ah, what the fuck. It's like, bounced me backwards. There's nobody in here. Ah, what the fuck. Can you not do that? Look, there really, there really is lava. I've never been to this part of, no, this planet. What are these guys like tougher because they're like part of this quest or something? No, they're just easy. This is big one that's slightly tougher. I leave this weird effect on you, and I have no idea what the fuck it's about. Also, thank god they actually show me where to find those, because if I had to go out of my way to find small little beacons... We hope you've enjoyed your trek across the breathtaking landscape of Emerald Vale. Terra 2's most fertile settlement and future breadbasket... Like a tree on fire. Take a moment to enjoy this vista with a can of Spacer's Choice Saltuna, before you make your way to Mighty Scylla, Halcyon's biggest asteroid. Okay, let's make our way to Scylla, and never go back there ever fucking again. Because this is the last thing we have to do there. Remember how last episode I found a robot? Or was it two episodes ago? I don't know. I found a robot in Scylla, that was just like hanging out in a cave mining. And I felt like, wow, this should have a quest attached to it. But it just doesn't. It doesn't have anything. It's just a fucking robot sitting in a cave. Spongebob re Rehydrated, I think, comes out this month. Another game I'm gonna keep an eye on. Uh, anything this summer? I don't know. I think... Deadly Premonition 2 was like, supposed to come out, and a remaster of the first one was supposed to come out. This year, but... Uh, this actually looks like HAL 9000. This eye? Yeah, it really does. And, um... But, I don't... I think it was only for Switch, actually. That it was supposed to come out. So yeah, that kinda sucks. Switch only? What, am, what do I look like? Like a sh like a faggot? Who plays Switch games? I'm a child who plays PlayStation. <laughs> no, but... I don't know. I always hope everything that comes out comes out on PlayStation because that's the only thing I got to play modern games on. I got a Wii next to it. I only ever beat it like one game on it. And it was recently. I got my PS3, which I did play a lot. 
but I don't really see the reason to turn it on anymore, because there's no games that I want to fucking play it on it. Unless PS2 games that you can buy on PS3. That That's pretty cool, I guess. That PS3 still had the ability to play PS2 games, except you had to buy them, apparently. I mean, some PS3s uh, had backwards compatibility, but then not, ev not all of them did. Some of them... Ouch. Some of them weren't compatible. I think my one isn't. It was like one of the first models that were compatible with PS2. My one is not. Because I remember trying out PS2 games with my PS3 and it didn't work. I at some point had a PS3 and a PS2 at the same time, but then I sold my PS2 because I was like, who the fuck needs it? Oh look, there's a barrier, and if I come out of the barrier, I'm gonna die. Interact with it. I'll bury you proper, I promise! <laughs> Thanks. So nice of them. Oh man, the captain's dead. Too bad, I guess. Fuck it. And I didn't know that this deals so much fucking damage. My stupid ass, instead of fucking doing anything with the beacon, instead I started reloading my gun. Great. Oh my god. Only two way of interacting with NPCs in this game is to either talk to them, or shoot them in the back of their heads. I mean, you can also shoot them in the front of their face, but... Uh, Fucking to come out and go through another loading screen? Shit. So many loading screens, I swear to god. I met my old English teacher yesterday and I was talking about him. Talking to him about uh, online classes and shit. And he said he actually fucking likes it because, like, the older kids from my old school are pretty, you know up-to-date about more technology and they just simply talk on Discord. I haven't been to my e-lessons in a while because fucking I don't care anymore. I'm an edgelord. I'm a rebel. I don't give a shit. Oh, I meant to do something yesterday and I forgot about it. Yeah, it's still there. Fuck, okay. Never mind. Ooh, this sound. Pull the fuck out. Speedrun tactics. Fuck, I broke my ankles. What the fuck is going on? Hope you didn't hurt that, but... Sound is cutting off again. I hate what fucking happens. Can you fucking shit? It's like nothing I can do about it, it just happens at random. Nothing I ever do to fix it actually helps. Just like I have to fucking sit in the proper way for the cable. Of the microphone to be like not. Oh wait, wait, wait! I'm gonna reload just so I don't do it by accident. Ouch! 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 I almost died. Thanks for the concern. Don't take our word for it. Ask one of the hundreds of proud Hephaestus miners going about their work right now. You're in for a real treat because our last stop takes us to a charming little village outside Stellar Bay, located on Terra One. Charming little village full of cannibals and marauders. Maybe when they made that, it was charming, but now it's not. Look at this fucking waste of potential. This could have been an awesome location to go into. I feel like this game just—it's very disappointing in so many ways. Companions don't have as interesting backstories, or aren't all that interesting, to be honest. Like they're not bad, just that they're you know. Like, I totally feel like Fallout 4's companions were way fucking cooler. Even people like Piper or Kate or Curie. Who, who was that one guy? There was like a guy who you could also meet in Fallout 3, but he was like a child. Hancock. Nick Valentine. Shit, those are way better companions than anyone in this game. I honestly feel like Vicar Max is the best companion, and he looks... And at first I was like, oh, he's just some fucking asshole. When I first played this game and I saw that Vicar Max joined me as my companion, I thought this game is gonna have so many companions, that at some point I'm gonna have to start kicking out people out of my ship because not everyone's gonna be able to... For fuck's sake, this fucking sound. 
because not, they're not gonna fit. But that's not the case. The Kermaxa was just specifically designed to be my companion. And I didn't even like how the fuck you. Terra 1. Is Monarch Terra 1? Stellar Ray. For fuck's sake, this is so annoying. We're now in orbit of a Stellar Ray, Captain. Might need to replug this shit out just out to there. make sure. Can you even hear me cutting off when I'm like speaking to you right now? Maybe not. I hope you don't because it's so fucking annoying. I ran out of things to talk about. Shit. Mafia, Mafia, Mafia. I love Mafia. I still have Mafia 1 on the shelf, like I said. I think I actually tried to install it a while ago and it just didn't want it to cooperate with me, you know. That game does not want to be installed. That's even the copy that my dad bought a while ago when he was still playing video games. Everyone's making remakes, remasters, and I'm just here being like, why the fuck Rockstar wouldn't just make like one of the Rockstar Studios, like let's say Rockstar Toronto, and tell them, look, make a remake of GTA 3. Now that you're all high society, you gonna start shitting gold too? Are you no. kidding? I'll eat my big cup. And because look, if they're gonna make a remake of Grand Theft Auto 3, with like let's say Grand Theft Auto 5's engine, Rage 2, I think it's called. Rage 2, Rage 2 was a shitty game. I didn't like it. But maybe I won't fucking get sidetracked now, and. Just update the graphics, update the car controls, update the models. Story can stay the same. M yeah, I guess missions are kind of boring. They could kind of change them around to make chases, for example, more exciting. Because most of the fucking kills in GTA 3 are usually in a car. Good like you just shoot to bay. the side. Only place on the planet that oh my god, where the fuck is it? So fucking far away, I swear to god. Constantly just fucking looking at loading screens because I'm traveling everywhere by using fast travel. And. Well, GTA 3. I don't feel like GTA 3 is so fucking beloved. I like it. But that's because I played it a lot as a kid. And it was my first GTA game. So I would be fucking stoked for a GTA 3 remake. But maybe what Rockstar should do is a Vice City remake. Because everybody fucking likes Vice City. Even though Vice City's gameplay is kind of shit. And then they could be like, oh my god, they're gonna remake San Andreas next. And maybe, maybe they could remake free. And everyone would be like, wow, Vice City remake was so great. I bet the remake of free is also great. And then maybe it wouldn't be as good. Because it's GTA 3 and GTA 3 isn't as good as Vice City. And then they could lean into... Said, oh, you know what they also could do? If they're just gonna go ahead and like do remakes. Oh shit, I just like, fell into this guy. That wasn't very wise of me. I didn't remember this fucking enemy. These guys go fucking kill them, I. I really don't feel like fighting anyone. What is wrong with me? I can't hit anyone. It's a gun, you know? It's a gun that sucks. While they're remaking like Vice City and Free, they could just, just like... Yeah, that would be awesome actually, to like... Let you have the full experience. They could just remake... They could like, make a GTA 3 remake, but also include Liberty City Story. And like a bigger story, you know? So when you turn on the game, it actually begins with Tony. And then it, and then you finish Tony's story. Welcome to Terra One. And then you start Claude's story. Oh, that would be so fucking cool. 
I should would appreciate the whole fucking plot of Say hello to the local GTA's 3D universe storyline. Oh my god, that would be a fucking brilliant idea, but Rockstar ain't gonna do shit. Just do it, Rockstar, what the fuck is wrong with you? Everybody's doing it and they all have fucking fun. Everyone's earning millions. Capcom pretty much only does remakes now. Well, that's not true. And... But yeah, why the fuck Rockstar won't do anything? They got fucking old games that need updating. Even Ratchet and Clank got a remake. Actually, I think it was a reboot. I don't remember. There's so many remakes that some of them actually fucking go past me and I don't even realize that some been something been remade. Like when Crash uh, Trilogy was remade. I was like, st keeping up with the remakes, I was like, oh, Yakuza gets remade. Fucking Spyro gets remade. Holy shit, and now, like, everything gets remade. It's like, I'm glad, I guess. But when this uh, Crash Trilogy came out, I remember saying that... Wait, let me put it... Let me understand what the fuck. So what they're doing... Is they're making the same game Naughty Dog made 20 years ago and they're selling it again? And I was like, oh my god, that's... I don't know whether I like it. Because Crash Trilogy was still good, you know? Like, maybe... Second... I mean, the first game was kind of... Not as good as 2 and 3. But they were still good. I was thinking that, man, I'd rather just have Crash 4. It's supposedly on June 14th, there's supposed to be something, uh... There's this gaming summer festival thing, where there would be, like, announcements. It's kind of here to replace E3. There will be, like, online announcements of video games, and... On June 14th... Uh, PlayStation is gonna have, like, a... Panel. And I'm hoping that they will say something about a new Crash game. I know Crash isn't a PlayStation exclusive anymore, he's a multi-platform mascot. But come on, it's still a fucking PlayStation mostly. It's mostly associated with PlayStation, he's even been in their trailer riding a cart next to fucking Nathan Drake. So yeah, it has to happen. What other video game franchise do you think should have get remakes? I was thinking, oh man, Mafia 1 is getting a remake, my dad is gonna be stoked. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh shit, he'd probably be stoked for a Medal of Honor remake too. Like the old Medal of Honor games. I don't know, he probably fucking know which ones these are, but I've never been too much in Medal of Honor. Mafia in GTA. Well, that I like. I hope they're not too upset. Because I also murdered a bunch of them in this episode too. There's like no guards left to be upset, also this game is running like shit now, what the fuck is going on? Maybe because the city was loading in. Look, I did a thing that I never did before. And what's my reward for all of this stupid shit? A hat. A dumbass looking hat. <laughs> That's all I get. Totally worth it. Are these fucking like... Joints? Behind this? No, it's just cigarettes. I was thinking of making more TF2 episodes, but I don't know, I don't feel like playing it. Oh, it's you. I suppose you're here to collect your prize. Hmm? That's all I fucking did this for. I really do have the worst luck. When I gave you this job, I never expected you'd be so damned competent. That's me, damn competent. Yes, go on and gloat. You've already ruined all my plans with your talent for staying alive. You wanted me to die. The tour's not real, friend. Board shut it down years ago due to unacceptably high rates of fatalities. So I greased a few palms and got the tour up and running again. I outfitted every beacon with a recording device. Live footage of dim-witted... Can I have my stupid hat now? Fine, fine. You're entitled to your reward. One certified explorer's <laughs> really am a TF2 player. I don't give a shit. I sold my family out. Can I have my hat? My compliments. Thank you. I've risked my life to get a sick looking hat. That was fucking stupid, actually. 
that, I don't give a damn. I can I block it if I sell it. Who the fuck needs this shit anymore? Nobody does. Nobody cares. It's useless. I'm gonna buy a shit ton of ammo. I actually have a shit ton of ammo already, so I don't think I need it. Next episode, I guess we're gonna just go ahead and begin finishing this game. Wrap up the let's play. Wrap up the football, wrap up the football. Money, money, money. The fuck was that song called? Loads of money, that's what it was called. Loads of money. Okay, let's go to Unreliable. And navigate to Hope, which we have to crash into, I think. Which sounds kind of stupid now that I think about it. Why the fuck would I crash into a ship? I don't know. I don't really give a shit. I'm sorry I'm yawning, but like just woke up, just ate breakfast. And then I immediately sat down to make Let's Plays, because I always make them in the morning. When everyone's at work, I'm just sitting here all by myself, not bothering everyone. By me just speaking very loud. All to myself. Anti-Cleo antibiotics. Aw oh, man, I thought it would be funny if I just failed to make death. This guy been pissing me off. Did I left him alive? I think I might have. I got a flamethrower. Oh shit. And there's like a group full of people over there. Oh man. <laughs> Hope you guys aren't gonna be defending lives or anything all of a sudden. Hey, what you guys sitting here for? Oh, they gather up in like one corner. I think they're all dead. Oh man. Seems like he murdered everyone. I want mental scars. Shit, I, I don't feel like I'm the same person anymore. I just murdered innocent people for no reason. I don't know why the fuck would you care it's a video game. I've been thinking, if I was like a super villain and I had like ability to murder people and like, I, I, you know, get away with it like a superman, I'd probably go insane and fucking murder people. You know. If I had superpowers, I ain't gonna lie to you, I probably wouldn't use them to, for good purposes. I'd probably steal a bunch of shit and never bother to save anyone. Like, I remember as a kid thinking that, wow, what do you, like, for one day everyone would disappear from the whole city and it would just be me. I always had that dream, like, it would be just kind of funny to, like, walk around streets naked. Fucking throw rocks at shit. It's just like fucking. Like in a video game, or you, like in GTA, where you just walk and you fuck around and you just like destroy yes. shit. I always wanted to have that experience in real life where I could just fucking go around and fucking destroy shit. But I don't think this is exactly legal, so I'm probably not gonna do that. Ada, I'm gonna need your help. We need to fly to Hope. And you're gonna need to fucking. Crash into it or something like that. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. I got it. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer. So for now, I understand everything. I'm an engineer. I'm Jimmy Bob. I know everything. But where the fuck are you, Felix? Tell me what you've been thinking. I was about to finish the episode. Damn it, Felix. Felix. You know, they're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. I really I've been want trying to. to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. Fuck yeah. No, 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 I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. 
Got a list right here. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. Damn it. It's hour long. Fucking shit. Squeeze the bridge of your nose, Felix. Right, I'm overdoing it again. Got it. Sorry, boss. I'm just excited, you know. Oh my nose! Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn city. Hell I have yeah! To my pay? Let's fuck them up. I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. I don't. I'm sure you've got plans. I'm to barely make. getting paid myself. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The hope might have cameras. You're not coming with me to the ship, though. You already had your fucking time. Jesus Christ, I was about to finish the episode and it wouldn't have to be hour long. Fucking Felix. God damn it. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.